Hey everybody and welcome back to a well episode 2 of Dead Rising 2. So in this episode I'm just waiting for 7am to come around so I can give uh, Katie her Zombrex. And that's pretty much it. So the last episode uh, was just basically just the intro and uh, getting sort of acquainted with the game mechanics which largely are the same as the first game. Not a huge difference, but I think uh, in terms of like camera control, animation and so on, um, this game has uh, done a lot better. Like the people look a lot more sort of realistic, if a bit taller. <laughs> Alright. Hey, honey. I told you I'd get some Zombrex. See, that wasn't so bad, Dad. You sure are Daddy's girl. Look, Dad, I got a new power in Mega Man. All right. Case, uh, let's look at cases, even though I'm not a uh, reporter. But whatever. Then the next case begins. I've been told that we have received a broadcast from our field reporter, Rebecca Chang, who is inside Fortune City. It is clear that the outbreak started in the Fortune City arena during last night's Terror is Reality show. Information received from a behind-the-scenes source reveals that this outbreak was not an accident, but rather an act of terrorism. This shocking footage was obtained from a source inside the Fortune City Arena, the site of the Terror's Reality Game Show. It may be upsetting to some viewers. Initial reports suggest that the man in the video is former motocross champion Chuck Green. What? Green, a member of the zombie rights protest group Cure, was a contestant in tonight's pay-per-view game show. Acquaintances describe Green as a known drifter who is still angry over his wife's death in the Vegas outbreak. This horrible act of terror appears to be an escalation of violence for the protest group. This is Rebecca Chang reporting live from the Fortune City Hotel in the heart of Fortune City. What? That's complete bullshit! That was not me. Did you have something to do with this? No way, not in your life. My daughter and I barely get out of that arena alive. What possible reason would I have to do something like that? Why are they saying you're part of Cure? I went to one meeting, once. After I lost my wife, Look, I don't know what the hell is going on here, but I'm being set up. I think I know why. It's not the first time members of Cure have been falsely accused of being involved with an outbreak. We were in town protesting that awful show you were on. Do you believe me? I don't know what to believe. But you sure don't seem like a terrorist. And I know we weren't involved. Look, we have three days before the military rolls in. That's how much time I have to prove I'm innocent. The reporter, the one at the hotel. The tape she had, it's a complete fake. She said she had a source. Whoever that is must know more. I need to find out where she got it. She said she was in the hotel. I'll keep an eye on your daughter. I won't say anything to her. I don't want her to worry. All right, so I better get a move on. Case file. You have been framed for the zombie outbreak in the city. Track down clues to uncover the truth about what has happened. Clear your name and escape from the city. Alright, yo. Oh, 
All right. Maintenance room key acquired. The maintenance room key lets you access all maintenance rooms. Will let you make powerful combo weapons. Uh, maintenance rooms are located throughout Fortune City. Bright red doors and neon signs. A maintenance room is always within reach. Just check your map. Uh, right. Wrench icon. Cool. Ah, blades. I'll take them. Okay, or not. Messages. Stacy will send you messages about interesting things. Each mission has a time limit. You can track the time limit. And messages will lead survivors of the zombie outbreak. Right, you. Alright, well, I'll bear that in mind. What the hell? Help the trigger happy lady. Destination Platinum Strip. A young woman is armed and taking out some zombies near the arena entrance. Alright, I'll uh, help her. Who's Gordon? Uh, I there's someone else I need to go and save. And La Chandra. Gordon! God, people are surviving here quite easily, aren't they? Sorry, Gordon. Alright, come on, Gordon. Two guys, that was easy. That's an easy rescue. Literally right outside my door. Stick close. Okay, so I'll uh, get these back to the safe room and then go and hunt uh, that woman. Trigger happy woman. 
in Platinum Strip. Where is Platinum Strip? Wow, this is a lot bigger than Willamette. <laughs> the mall in Willamette. Jeez. I think I got more PP for doing escort stuff in the last one. Like in the last game, but I don't know. That could just be me. Also, I, I looked online and like these games last about six hours. So I reckon I should be able to do this in one day. Like this entire game. It might drive me mad, but I'm almost positive there's no overtime mode. So I, I will, <coughs> unlike the first game, I will get a, like, you know, full game walkthrough out of this one. But I just couldn't stand the first one when the Special Forces guys show up and it takes, like, 40 rounds each to get them down. Plus, melee weapons ping off their heads. Because, you know, of course they do. And also, you may have noticed, I have uh, increased the commentary audio by a little bit. Because uh, I know I said I wasn't going to change the audio, but when I checked the... When I rechecked the recording for episode 1, you can kind of hear me, but... When the game, like, you know, boss battles and stuff like that, or plays the game plays music, you just can't. So, yeah, I thought I'd uh, just increase it a little bit. Kicking ass and chewing gum. <coughs> ah, cool. Car. I need the keys to that, though, can't I? Don't I? Yeah, there you go. Locked. I do remember a little things about this game. No, my lucky little speedy. The things that annoyed me most. Like that car being locked. Alright, Fortune Park. This isn't where I need to go. I need to go to somewhere called Platinum Strip. Alright, never mind. That's apparently I'm on the right place. Apparently Fortune Park is Platinum Strip. Uh, get off. Okay, I'm going to climb up here and read that other one. A lost woman is trying to talk to the zombies. Need to <coughs> I don't need to check if there's a uh, like a gun shop here. Anybody home? Come <laughs> on. 
I can take you to the safe house where it's safe. Where's this confused lady? I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. Uh, Keep going! Hoot and holler! Okay... Ah. <clears throat> 25,000, that's not too bad. That is an easy way to get Zombrex. Night boots, zombie mask... Wait, what's that? Night boots. Just big metal boots. Alright. A Molotov, uh, a big fountain lizard mask. Battle axe, nice. And a power blower. Alright, well, I'll bear all these in mind. Can definitely come back for the uh, uh, thingy. Yeah, uh, Zombrex, bloody hell. Don't fall behind. So where's this gun happy woman? Alright, this is all dice and everything. Can we go? Oh! Shot it! Well, that's love for you.
All right, let's go. And then you can let me know where you got those uh, guns from. Follow me. Wait. Thank you. Come on. Stick to me. I need I have hang on. Alright, that's the safe room, so I can just Come on, let's go. Hurry up. Yeah, the AI is much better in this. They don't stop to have random fights with other zombies. I, I, random fights with other zombies, implying that they are themselves zombies. Yeah, that's pretty much true for the first game, I'd say. Aha, I can move in this! What a revolution. Or a revolution. Did you say he was out of ammo? Doesn't matter, we're at the safe area anyway. Come on, guys. Wonder if I can give them a different gun. Like a different weapon, and I can get their guns. Come on! Come on! Why can't I open the door? There you go. Still there? God damn it, Doris! Yeah, I can. Cool. I'll uh, give him a knife, and I'll give her a broom. Actually, no. Here you go, buddy. And uh here you go. Someone beat you with the stupid stick? How dare you? Uh there you go. Shucks. Thanks. What's wrong with the fire extinguisher? Twenty rounds of the shotgun. Is that a that's a regular shotgun, it's not double barreled or anything. Yeah, I'm just uh, leveling up as much as I can before I tackle all the main mission stuff, uh, main story, whatnot. Because that's uh, that tends to be a bit. Although I can't say the first game was all that hard in terms of boss battles and shit like that. All right. Uh... What? what? The shanks. What shanks? Oh my god. Actually, that's not... Uh, well, that is quite a ways away, isn't it? Uh, right, I can get there,
Cue nice. kick ass music. Alright, yeah, I can, uh, I'll head up to Shanks and uh, get those two guys. And, uh, well, where is. See, I don't know what that is. Children's Castle. It would be something if there was like a run-ish, like, you know, like a sort of, like, well, not even a run, like a sprint feature. Because this is quite a, you know, slow pace for a zombie apocalypse. He looks more like he's trying to catch a train. And of course, Frank keeps. Not uh, Frank, uh, Chuck keeps uh, stopping every like time I try and run forward because the, my joystick, I think, is broken. Partly. Did I hear a voice? Did I hear someone speak? Ooh, money. Yeah, I think if I run through the uh, casino, I should be able to get enough for the Zombrex. No raid. Almost there. Prob probably be a case of, because I think the my family about to leave, so there's going to be a lot of noise in my house. Uh, soon. So I will probably uh, call it quits around now and carry on with this right where I le left off you in the next episode. For now though, that's pretty much it. Um, so until next time, you look after yourself and you take care. Ta-da.